when giants dance on the town square and dragons breathe fire. It's time for La Patum in Berga, Catalonia. What have I got myself into? And when the lights go out, the crowd goes crazy and the demons emerge. Berga is a town of around 16,000 residents at the foot of the Pyrenees. Every year around Corpus Christi, the town pulls out all the stops for La Batum, a five-day festival celebrated with mystical and symbolic figures, much as it has been since the Middle Ages. I'm not only here for handshaking with those giants, I'm here to try out everything in the Patum de Berga, uh, even to get under his skirt, if it's possible, and to carry him a bit. But before we think big, we start with smaller things. Soon on the San Pea town square, several thousand people will be standing close together in the midday heat. They'll be celebrating the first of two patoons today, where figures dance around in the midst of the crowd. A group of smaller figures is also on hand. I'd like to join in, so I meet Oscar Guijaro, who's been donning one of the eight costumes for 25 years now. How old is this hat? Oh, um, del mil How old? It's from 1853, so it's 176 years old. That's why we have to treat these heads with respect. They're very important. Only if you live here and you're integrated into the community are you allowed to dance in the festival. So I won't be allowed to dance at the Patum itself, but Oscar Quijero lets me try on the hat. It weighs 12 kilos. It's not easy to keep your balance inside it and dance too. What an experience. What does all this have to do with Corpus Christi? To find out, I meet with historian and Patum expert Albert Rumbo. Originally, these were religious figures made for the Corpus Christi procession. This religious beginning was blurred over the years, and more and more dancing added in. Other figures appeared in the 18th century, such as the Muslim Turks, who fought against Christianity. So the way we celebrate La Patum now is basically a creation from the 18th century. It kicks off at noon. Outside, the demons wave their wands around showering sparks, while in the town hall, the dwarfs prepare for their appearance. I throw myself into the midst of the fae. By the way, in 2005, UNESCO added La Patum de Berga to its list of the intangible heritage of mankind. As the sun sets on Berga, the day's second Patum is about to begin. I've decided I want to try out the whirling giant. For 10 years now, Ivan Sanchez Rodriguez has been carrying the over four meter tall costume. Is it possible that I carry him a little bit? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how? Mm -hmm. How much? The giant weighs just 93 kilos and has faithfully served for over 150 years now. Can I lift him? I guess you really have to have really strong legs. It's moving! <laughs> no. Oh. No, I give up. Okay, Ivan, I wish you luck and have fun this evening and this night. So, bye bye. bye. Gracias. It's certainly going to be a hard night for Ivan Sanchez Rodriguez. The patoon is repeated four times. I look for a spot to watch from a safe distance. and the people are waiting for the show to begin. Uh, and there will be, for example, devils jumping around and spitting fire. So a bit crazy are the people here in Berger. And I guess I would stay here safely. 
The locals and curious onlookers like me celebrate La Patum until half past three in the morning. But when the fire demons start jumping, the salt, the plants, I'm really glad not to be in the thick of it all.